Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about mice, rodents, and pests and why we do not want them in our campers, especially in the winter months when your camper's parked up somewhere or stored away. Uh, guys, they can be extremely destructive, they carry diseases, it's certainly something you don't want to deal with. We're going to show you guys five tips that we use. We've used them every year, we've been doing this 10, 12 years, something like that. We've never had any issues by them. I swear by these simple things that you can do. They're cheap, they're easy, it's not hard to do. Stay tuned, we're gonna jump right into it and show you guys number one. All right guys, let's jump into it. Step number one, we're gonna to wanna to eliminate any sort of food source or pots and pans, that kind of thing that the mice may be interested in. Uh, I'd even go as far as to say toilet paper, or paper towels, or any sort of thing that they can use for a bedding or anything that they're gonna to wanna to eat. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that's all cleaned up. Uh, we've already started a little bit. I can see in here I got a bag I gotta clean out. And I think over in this cupboard I got a little bit of uh, some spices that I wanna get out of there before winter. All right guys, step number two is gonna simply do a wipe and clean through here uh, and all the other cupboards to make sure there's nothing left in there. Like I said, we're just gonna give everything a little spray out. I do see a couple crumbs in here, things that would invite them. I like to go through and wipe everything out, use an all-purpose cleaner, make sure everything's good to go. That way too, guys, you got less to do, uh, springtime prep, stuff like that. You can load this up, they're ready to go. Make sure you got all your cupboards cleaned out. A good idea would also be to make sure that the stove top is cleaned off. We don't do a lot of cooking in ours, but some people do. Make sure your oven's cleaned out. We don't want any crumbs in there. Let us finish cleaning everything out here. We'll move on to step number three. All right, guys, step number three is back outside the camper. What you're going to want to do is go around your whole camper and find any entry points or places that they may be able to crawl up and get inside. Uh, good places to look are going to be around your electrical lines, your water lines, uh, your electrical cord coming into the camper. Any point that maybe when they were building it, they cut something wrong or there's a little bit too big of a void or something like that. You certainly want to get those things plugged up. Um, you know, we, we like to use this Max Fill great stuff foam just because, you know, the other stuff, the, the straw plugs up and this stuff works a little bit better. It fills any gaps that you may need. Some people use steel wool. If you are going to use steel wool, I would recommend that you use the copper kind uh, just to avoid any rust issues, that kind of thing. Once steel wool gets wet, it does rust away uh, and this stuff won't for you and they certainly can't chew through this. All right, guys, so we're underneath the camper here. I'm not sure if you can see this, but right where my straw is sticking, you can see some of the factory foam has gone away there. Uh, it's spot like this that I'm talking about. I saw one on the other side, too, where the fresh water fill comes in. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up. And again, I just like to use this stuff here because it fills the gaps a little better. Um, you certainly want to try not to make a mess if you can. I know it is a little bit sloppy. Got another spot here where my uh, freshwater drain is. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that up too. Uh, we're gonna continue around here, find all the other ones, get those filled up, and then I'll show you what I do with the electrical box. Guys, one more thing I like to do on the outside is go to my electrical outlet here and take one of these copper scrubbies and just sit right in there. Uh, fits right in there perfect. It's a little more added peace of mind. I know that this does shut and click, but if anything were to ever get in there and push that up, you can see that they're not gonna be able to get past that as well. At number four, guys, I like to go with the bounce sheets or dryer sheets. You know, it's, you can look it up online. It goes either way. Some people swear by them. Some people say it does nothing. We've done it every year. The way I look at it is for a buck, dollar fifty, I picked up ten of these sheets. Really cheap insurance. We scatter them around throughout. A couple on the bed, bathroom, bunk area, that sort of thing. We're gonna get these set out. I've also seen people. I don't know if it works at all, but I've heard Irish Spring soap is another good deterrent for them. Um, I'm sure if you look it up, there's plenty other options out there. We're gonna go ahead and get these spread around, and then we'll come back for the next one. So again, there's no real method for these. Couple on the floor, a couple in the bunkhouse area. We even threw a couple in the cupboard here. Again, whether it works or not, it's cheap peace of mind, cheap insurance. Some people swear by it. We've been doing it for years. We haven't had any issues with them since. All right, guys, step number five. We went and picked up a can of this Tomcat rodent repellent. 
Uh, we've been using this stuff for a year. I think what it is is really just like a peppermint oil spray. It looks like there's cinnamon oil and garlic oil in it as well. Uh, not something I would use on the inside of the camper, but we do take this stuff and go around, you know, the bottom of the frame, the tires, any of the electrical lines, things along the outside. Um, we've been using this stuff, like I said, for years. It, I think it's eight bucks a can. And really this stuff, all we do is kind of spray it along our plumbing lines, our electrical lines, the bottom of the frame, anything like that to kind of deter them. I'll even get some of this stuff here. Try not to get it on the tires. I don't know how good it is for it. We go ahead and spray all the lines down here, your propane lines, the frame all the way around. Uh, like I said, this stuff lasts about nine months. Very strong smelling, but again, cheap insurance. So that's really it guys these are the five steps that we follow every year we've been doing this for years we haven't had any issues we don't want any issues in the future uh, for the 15 or 20 dollars that we got invested into this again great peace of mind you get a great insurance policy as far as them causing any issues and things like that uh, one other tip i could share with you is kind of make sure you guys are checking on your campers throughout the winter time whether they're in a storage unit or parked away or whatever the case may be uh, the sooner you can find a problem if you have one the sooner you can eliminate it and the less issues there's going to be so um, thank you guys very much for watching we appreciate it if you're new to the channel think about subscribing make sure you follow along we'll try to uh, give you guys as many RV tips as we can if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and we will see you guys next week